Now in the previous video, we have seen the stack implementation using an array. Now this stacks can also be implemented using linked list. Okay. So how do we implement stacks using a linked list? Okay. So let us suppose uh, they will be using a pointer which will be top of stack pointer. Okay. And initially it was null. It is null. That means initially it is not going to store the uh, address of any node. So what we are going to do is, so whenever we are going to call a push function, then we are going to add a node into the beginning. So it will be a linked list. So we, we are going to add a node in the beginning of the linked list. And we are going, when, whenever we are going to pop some node, uh, uh, we are going to call this pop function. In that case, we are going to uh, delete a node from the beginning of the linked list. And then we are going to return the data, which is present in the deleted node. Okay. So what we are going to do is if you say push seven, that means there will be a new node which is going to store seven. Okay. And this top of stack will be pointing to this new node. Okay. So it will be storing the address of this new node. Okay. And then if I call push nine, right, that means there will be a new node, which will be storing nine. And then we have to add this new node into the beginning of this current link list. Therefore, the top of the stack will be pointing to this nine and this uh, link part will be pointing to this node. Therefore, the first operation which you have to perform is make this link part point to this node and then make this top of stack pointing to this node. Okay. And we can add a node in the beginning of this link list. Okay. And if we call a pop function, in that case, we have to delete a node which is present in the beginning and then we have to return this data which is present in this uh, in in this beginning node okay so the, these are the two uh, functions which we have to design for implementing stacks using linked list okay so now let us design a push function and for this we are going to make this top of stack as a global variable okay so what we are going to do is we are going to make uh, the structure will be same here also let me just make a structure of a node here so struct node okay and it is going to take int data and then struct node star next okay and then we are going to do struct so this is Actually, I'm going to do node type def. So it will be type def struct node node. Okay. So that means whenever I have to write a node, that means I'll struct node. I have just, I'm just going to write this node. Okay. And then I'm doing node star top of stack. Okay. And this is initially null. And then I'm going to design this push function and this push function is going to take an integer value. So uh, push function and it is going to take some integer value int, uh, let us say information which we want to store into the stack. Okay. And then we have to design this function. So what if initially we have to see if the stack is empty or not. If this stack is empty, then we can e easily add this node. Otherwise, we have to add this node in the beginning of the current uh, data. So if stack is empty, then top of the stack will be pointing to null. Then we can easily create a, a node for this. So uh, I'll be taking one more pointer here, yes, node star p. And then I'm doing top of the stack is equal to create node with this info. We have already uh, made a create node function. So what this create node function is going to do is this create node function is going to create a new node and then it is going to return the address of this uh, newly created node and then it is going to store the address of the newly created node into this top of the stack pointer. Okay. Now if the stack is not empty, then what we have to do? Okay. That means there's still some data which is uh, present in the stack. For example, this is the al uh, already present data. Okay, so let me just clear this, this up so that I can clear this concept. So if the stack is not empty, so let us suppose this is the stack. So this is top of the stack pointer and it is already pointing to some data.
and this data is 9 11 12 and we have to add one more node in the beginning of this uh, link list okay so let us suppose the data is 8 so what first operation which we need to perform is uh, we have to make this pointer to point to this and then we have to make this top of stack to point to this so these are the two operations okay so what we are going to do is p is equal to create node with information that means this create node function is going to uh, create a node uh, with this given information and th that address of that node is stored in p okay and then it is going to do uh, p arrow next is equal to top of stack that means uh, you are storing the address of this node so how will you get the address of this node this address of this node is stored in top of stack okay so uh, here now this uh, this part is pointing to this node and then you have to store the address of this node in top of stack this will top of stack is equal to p okay so this is how you can add a node in the beginning of this given link list okay so this will be a push function now see uh, whenever I am writing this create node function or whenever I am doing a malloc call it is not necessary that our system is going to allocate that much amount of memory okay so this uh, this thing actually I, have, I haven't covered in the previous videos so what I am saying is I am just taking a corner here so whenever you are uh, uh, allocating some memory using the malloc function let us suppose we are having this function which is node star p and you are doing p is equal to node star malloc okay and this malloc function is having size of node okay so what does this malloc function do this malloc function is going to allocate the specified amount of memory then after allo allocating the specified amount of memory it is going to return the address of that memory now what if the mem uh, memory in your system is already full right if the memory of your system is already full then this malloc function is not going to allocate any memory right and then what address will it go going to return right in that case it is going to return a null address so whenever we are going to create a create node function in that create node function we have to identify whether malloc is returning uh, an address or it is returning a null so we have to check this if malloc is returning a null so we can just simply uh, say that we cannot allocate new memory uh, to this uh, given data or to this given node otherwise we can just uh, allocate a memory okay this I haven't covered in the previous session because uh, all my focus was to make things as simple as possible so the next time whenever you are going to uh, write a create node function in that case uh, whenever you allocate a memory you have to identify if this p pointer is null or not if this p pointer is null that means uh, there is no memory which is allocated if the, this p pointer is not null that means there is some memory which is allocated okay now coming back to this previous program we have already written this push function now we have to write a pop function okay so what is this pop function let us see now if we are having this given link list uh, which is storing some data of the stack okay so what does this pop fun function function should do this pop function should uh, be able to remove this node from the link list that means uh, this is the first node in the link list and then it should be able to uh, return this given data okay so what we are going to do is we are going to write a pop function for this so pop and this is going to take the address from the top of stack so uh, if top of stack is equal to null okay that means there is no data present in the link list so what you have to do is printf stack underflow okay so here in this uh, in this push case also we can also say stack overflow but that stack overflow will be covered in this uh, memory allocation because if you cannot allocate the memory then only you can say stack overflow but if you can allocate a memory then you can uh, there is no point of saying stack overflow okay because this is the advantage of using linked list in case of arrays the size of the memory is already fixed for example if you have taken the size of the stack as 10 right that means after filling this 10 units you cannot fill more data right so in that case there are more ch chances that you are going to get the stack overflow 
error right but in case of using linked list this linked list is not having a fixed size this linked list is having a dynamic memory therefore if uh, the stack is full the stack will be full only when your uh, operating system cannot cannot allocate more memory to your malloc function okay so that means you have to design the stack overflow function within your malloc function in this if else condition okay so coming back to this pop function so it is saying stack underflow else if stack is not empty then what you have to do is you have to take this data and store it into a integer variable so we are talking taking int a is equal to this data and how do you get this data you have to do top of stack arrow data therefore you have stored this data into this variable a and then you can easily move this uh, free this memory and to, to free this memory you have to take a pointer to this memory okay so what we are going to do is node star p is equal to top of stack right and then you have to make this top of stack to point to the next node so that you can free this memory so what you have to do is top of stack is equal to top of stack arrow next and then free p then we have freed this memory and then return the data and data is in a so it is going to do return a okay and then because the return type is an integer therefore you have to write an integer here so it will be int so this is how you can write a simple function uh, to implement this pop functionality for this stack okay so as you can see this is uh, a very simple implementation of stacks you can easily implement a stack using a linked list you can easily implement a stack using a array okay now uh, I, I can show you the uh, animation for this but currently the website is down uh, from where I show the animation so as soon as that website gets up so what I'll do is I will uh, record a video uh, to show the working animation of how stacks are working and then uh, you can easily see how this things are actually implemented okay